Hi guys, I'm Cole with Farmer's Pride. Um, we're doing a little video on some cover crops here today. What we got growing is a rapeseed. Um, it is more of like a broadleaf taprooting plant. We have a vetch plant out here, which partners really good with our last plant, which is rye. Um, rye is an incredible, it's cheap, uh, has a tremendous root system to alleviate compaction. Um, and right now where we're standing, um, it is actually we had tons of semis going in and out of here. And uh, and these roots you can see are already rooting down, probably three inches on that and probably about another three inches on this. Um, come springtime, these roots will probably be close to two foot deep. You know, some might even, you know, depending on how late we let it go before we kill it, um, it might even get three to four foot down. Um, tremendous compaction alleviation. Not terribly expensive for what you get. Um, does a tremendous thing for water um, infiltration into your soil. After a soybean crop like this, there's tons of nitrogen out here from the soybean plant itself that um, this, the grass and um, broad leaves help to pull up to prevent leaching. Beans are really hard on soil compared to corn for organic matter because you're just not raising that much tonnage of, of material out here. And so when you can plant a forage like this, even if you're not gonna graze it, if you're just gonna plant it to grow and kill right before you plant, um, it can add probably, depending on how early you get it in, how late you kill it, um, you can get close to two to three tons of dry matter um, material out here for your soil to actually start consuming and mineralizing. A big key for the economics of it is uh, you have to get it in early. You know, right now you can put it out there, but for the highest return on your money, it's not going to get enough spring growth. You're really going to want to look to do this, you know, have a plan in place to do it next year and get a guy lined up to drill it or drill it yourself. You know, have the seed ready sitting there. There's a lot of programs through the government on cover crops. Um, right now this field, we're, it's actually in a program called Equip. They paid $56 an acre for me to plant this. So at a $26 seed cost and a you know, $14 to $16 drilling rate, you're actually getting paid um, to put this crop out there for, uh, this is on a three year contract. Um, it's extremely simple. You just have it drilled. They come out, you send them your receipts, they take a picture and uh, you get paid for it. So this is just rye in this field. Um, cover crops, they're great in all fields. Um, but this is some silage ground that we chopped this year. Um, terrible compaction, right? I mean, you're, you're talking about pulling, I don't know how many tons of wagons across this stuff. I planted this, you know, within a couple days of uh, chopping silage. And uh, you got four or five inches of top growth. You know, it's rutting down as hard as it can. I mean, it's having tremendous, you know, amounts of stress trying to root into the ground due to the... Uh, all the compaction that's out here um, but the fact that it's doing as well as it is is telling me that it's getting down there and it's starting to break that soil up and, and when them roots decay next spring um, after we kill it you know that's just direct waterways into our soil um, you know as those decay so you know there's there's manual ways to fix compaction and then there's ways like this that are uh, are, are I'd say equally as good and, and they disturb the soil a lot less. So another really great thing cover crops can do for us um, is, you know, we're all concerned about water usage. Cover crops do this amazing thing for us is they capture a lot of fall moisture. And in the spring, it's or you're capturing early spring, March moisture, you know, that kind of stuff. And uh, when you kill that cover crop, it shades the ground. It keeps the ground a lot cooler. Um, you know, instead of on a hundred degree sun beating de down day, instead of your soil being 95 degrees, um, we're saying soil that's right around the 80 degree mark. Um, so you're having a lot less evaporation. Uh, you're shading that ground. Another great benefit um, to cover crops is, you know, just like we do a corn bean rotation um, almost all the time, there's a synergistic effect of the rotation. You know, we've known that for how long. Um, now, when you keep adding different species, different types of roots that give off um, different hormones or different, it secretes different things. Um, it feeds different microbes in the soil that do different activities. You know, let's say you're on a normal corn bean rotation and after your beans, you go ahead and you throw a cover crop out here like this. Um, like, not only is it doing all the other benefits that we've talked about, um, but it's also has, having that synergistic effect with feeding that soil. And then lastly, I mean, we're in fairly flat country around here, but uh, some of you guys might be watching this in some hillier country where you have a lot more erosion problems. You know, that top layer is your most important nutrient layer. And 
so um, you know this stuff I mean it's got roots and it's gonna stop all kinds of water from moving it's not gonna let your soil move it's not gonna let your water move um, and so it'll really help to keep your soil where your soil is and not blowing or running over to the 